are you a Pokemon noob that wants to excel and become the Pokemon Chad? Well, then you came to the right place because we are going to go over some tips for you new players so that you guys can hopefully become the Pokemon Chad like me. But without further ado, let's get into tip number one, regularly clearing your Pokemon storage. But hold up. Before you just start willy-nilly transferring every single Pokemon you have caught, you need to check the IVs on the Pokemon, and here's how you do that and search for good ones. First off, you're going to want to start by checking for Hundos, because Hundos are some of the rarest and also the best Pokemon that you can get. To do that, you just do 4 star in the search bar, and that'll bring up every single Hundo that you have. And now, next thing you're going to want to search for is just for 3 stars, which all you have to do is type in three star instead of four or you can do three star and sign four star that'll bring up all your good pokemon but also another thing that you could search for is nundos which in my opinion are even rarer than hundos they're not useful in any way shape or form but they are easily more rare than hundos to do that you type in zero attack and zero defense and zero hp and that is how you bring up all the Nundos. Another thing as well, you can keep Pokemon that are like good memory Pokemon. Like for me, I have a specific tag for milestone catches, like my 20,000th catch, my 25,000th catch, stuff like that. Stuff that brings good memories and stuff from like specific events and stuff like that that hold sentiment to you. Like your very first Pokemon that you ever caught, like the Charmander, the Squirtle, or the Bulbasaur, whichever one you chose. Me, I don't have that because I was dumb. Always hold on to good memory Pokemon because obviously, you want to remember those good times. Also, you always want to hold on to shinies unless you have a ton of a specific shiny from something like Community Days. Because, to be honest, there's no reason why you should be holding on to 30 to 40 shiny Rogan Rollers. It's just taking up storage and you don't need that many. It's just a waste of space. Tip number two, free Pokey Coins. Now, some of you might not want to put money in the game and stuff like that to get Pokey Coins, but there is a way you can get free Pokey Coins in Pokemon. On go and you do this by defending gyms you can get a total of up to 50 free pokey coins a day from defending gyms and to get those 50 coins you need to be defending for a total of at least eight and a half hours to get those 50 coins the best strategy in my opinion to defend gyms and stuff like that is while someone else is driving the car obviously as you're just driving down the street have pokemon go open and as you drive by a gym quickly if it's your team quickly go ahead do it like a drive by of that gym and drop a pokemon in there as you're just driving by and of course you're only able to get a maximum of 50 a day so if you get knocked out of multiple gyms and you've already gotten your 50 coins well pokemon go just says tough luck and you only get 50 kind of sucks there tip number three raiding for those of you who don't know you get one free in-person raid pass every single day and using that is something that you need to do to try to maximize xp candy and trying to get good relevant pokemon because honestly most of the meta relevant pokemon you're gonna find them in raids so you gotta utilize that one free raid pass every single day and if you're trying to do a hard raid since you're a low level like honestly you always need people in five star raids you cannot do those alone it is unless you are level 50 and it is a very weak five star raid you're not going to be able to do it so what i would recommend if you don't have people that play with you and stuff like that download an app called pokey genie it is really easy to use and you can host raids and get people to join your raids pretty easily honestly if you guys want me to do a video on that let me know but i'm not going to get into that right now and also through raids you have a pretty decent chance of getting a shiny pokemon and if you do get a shiny pokemon from a raid it is a guaranteed catch on the very first ball if you do get the shiny there's no need whatsoever to raspberry it always silver pin out a shiny pokemon from a raid because you get even extra candy through the silver for pin at berry and it's a guaranteed catch so so maximize that candy gain and speaking of candy tip number four rare candies do not and i cannot stress this enough do not use your rare candy on normal spawn pokemon those pokemon will always come back into spawns and continuously spawn regularly only use your rare candies on pokemon that are specifically in raid legendary mythical pokemon only it is not worth it to give your macho 50 candies to evolve it it's not worth it you're wasting a very rare resource on something that is not very useful granted 
Machop candy is very useful because Machamps are really good Pokemon in PvE aspects of things, but it's not worth it because they spawn a lot. And plus, if you use those rare candies on the legendary Pokemon that you catch, that's just less money you have to spend in the game to get those candies to power up those legendary Pokemon because the only way you're going to get those candies is doing those raids and i don't tell me you can walk with your buddy to get candies for a legendary because there ain't no way someone's putting a legendary and walking 20 kilometers to get one candy no one's doing that speaking of buddy pokemon tip number five buddy pokemon having a pokemon as your buddy is probably one of the least utilized things people can do because people just forget about it people don't think it's useful all that kinds of things set a pokemon as your buddy something that's useful like i always have my best buddies set to my hundos because one when your buddy gets to a great buddy you get something that is called a catch assist so what that means is that whenever a pokemon attacks when you throw a ball it has a chance of hitting that ball back to you and your buddy Pokemon hits it and you actually get a chance to try and catch it instead of just losing a ball. And I cannot tell you guys how many times that has saved me in legendary raids where you have limited amounts of Pokeballs to try and catch it. It is insanely useful. Also, when you become great friends as well, your Pokemon can bring you gifts that can contain stuff like potions, Pokeballs, berries, revives. It's pretty useful, especially if you aren't around a lot of Pokestops and stuff like that. This is something that could get you a few items pretty easily, honestly. When you hit best buddies, it takes a little while, but when you get there, you get a shiny ribbon that indicates that you guys have become best buddies. But also, the whole reason you want to do that is because whenever a buddy becomes a best buddy and you keep it as your buddy it increases it by an extra level so let's say you have a level 50 hydreigon like i do if i have that as my buddy since it is a best buddy it will increase it to level 51 therefore increasing the cap of the cp that it can have which you might be thinking that's not very useful but in stuff like pvp and stuff like that it is extremely useful to have a buddy pokemon out there because you get a better advantage to beating them tip number six tag your pokemon tagging your pokemon makes it so much easier to find specific pokemon that you're looking for such as shinies mega pokemon perfects or whatever else you want to make a tag for for me personally one of the most useful tags that i have made is a two transfer tag for pokemon that i want to get rid of and the reason why that tag is so useful is because whenever there is a double transfer candy event during a spotlight hour, you know all the Pokemon you want to transfer are all in that tag there, so you don't have to go in searching. So you can just mark them all, transfer them, get double candy. It makes it so much easier. That tip's pretty easy, honestly. Like, do tag them however you want to. Whatever's, whatever's best for you and whatever you want to do. And our final tip of the day, tip number seven, Mega Pokemon. And now, this might be the last tip. It is honestly probably the most useful tip. Mega Pokemon are probably some of the most useful Pokemon in the entire game since they reworked it a few months ago. So now, when you Mega Evolve a Pokemon, Pokemon, let's go with Mega Gengar for instance, you will get additional candy and XP for Pokemon of the same typing, so with Mega Gengar, it would be Poison and Ghost type Pokemon, you would get extra candy and XP for catching, which is really good for community days because Litwick Community Day is coming up, so that is a Ghost and Fire type, so Pokemon such as like Mega Gengar or Mega Charizard are going to be really useful that day just to maximize XP and candy gain. Whenever a new Mega comes out, always do just one raid, just so you can Mega Evolve one time. And of course, with Mega Pokemon, they reset every seven days. Once you get it to level two, it's five days. And whenever you max it out, it resets at three days. So whenever you max out a Mega Pokemon, you can Mega that Pokemon every three days. It is the most useful strategy in Pokemon Go to maximize your profits. Get those Mega Energies and those Mega Pokemon, people. It is extremely useful. That's all the tips I got for you guys today. Hopefully, you guys did learn something new. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and comment and let me know which tip helped you the most because i have a whole lot more tips i can share with you guys that's just a few that i have written down right now if you guys want to uh hear some more tips from me leave a comment i would love to be able to share my pokemon knowledge with some new players who don't know what they're doing i would love to help some of you guys ascend to the pokemon chad that you all 
rightfully deserve to be. Like I said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those good things, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!